Let's talk about specialists. It seems like Black Ops 4 is introducing us to a new specialist at a pace of about one per operation. I can't see that that deviates, and given the fact that we end up having three more operations already laid out for year one of Black Ops 4, it makes sense that we end up seeing three more specialists added in, bringing us to a grand total of 15. With three operations left, one for spring, summer, and fall, and the spring operation coming on the 30th in just under two weeks' time at this point, we end up having plenty of signs that point towards our coming specialists, two of which we have a lot of information on that dealing with Spectre and also Reaper. Now, if Reaper does in fact come, there's one glaring problem with that. Well, the Black Ops pass holders and Blackout users already have Reaper. So what does this mean for Black Ops 4's potential future specialist? I want to talk about that here with you guys today and maybe break down some potential scenarios. But before we jump into it, I want to pick your brain a little bit and we'll start kind of a question of the day maybe here perhaps. But if Reaper does come to Black Ops 4, what ability and or lethal would you like to see? Personally, I'd like to see the Scythe come back, absolutely love that, but I'm not entirely sure if we'll see Psychosis returning as well, especially given that one specialist abilities for turning specialists haven't exactly been one-to-one. -one. We saw Outrider being that Hawk instead of Vision Pulse. We ended up seeing various specialists in the launch of the game didn't have their same things that they previously had in Black Ops 3, like Seraph didn't have combat focus, and of course, the tidbit of information that you might not necessarily know about Reaper is that Psychosis from Black Ops 3 wasn't actually initially his ability. That was Prophet's ability in the early builds of the game. Glitches was actually Reaper's ability. So what would you give Reaper if he does come back? But anyways, we discussed briefly a while back, we had a long road of these specialist teasers and introductions stemming back from even before the game itself launched. The first looks that we got of any specialist mentions outside of the 10 we had at launch came in the way of the comic series that set up the backstory and the lore for Black Ops 4. That's where we first saw, of course, that we had Black Ops 4 taking place before the events of Black Ops 3 and after Black Ops 2, and of our main specialists, we saw some crossover references of the likes of Spectre, Blackjack, and Reaper, all seemingly just tying up loose ends or either providing origin stories or providing some more clarity with that. Reaper played actually a big part in the origin comic of Prophet in particular, but then we move along and we see even more came at the launch of the game. The earliest teasers in-game of Future Specialists, that being Zero, Outrider, and presumably Spectre at this point, came from the map Frequency. The surveillance room ends up having multiple monitors of scrambled transmissions that detailed a little bit of their backstory. Zero ended up showcasing that she was a black hat hacker from Berlin. We end up seeing that Outrider was Alessandra Castillo from the Rosinia Favela, and that Spectre gave the information that nobody really knew anything about them, except they ended up having an MO of KIAs with surgical precision and a very sharp blade. The order of those, again, seemingly have been portrayed very well and at least so far have come to terms with being up on deck of those specialists in there because we saw Zero first, then Outrider, and again, presumably Spectre. We saw a bunch of different things as of recently as well, which we'll mention in just a second as we wrap this up a little bit further, but a little later on down the line, we ended up seeing that DLC 1 introduced us to two MP maps. We saw Operation Absolute Zero kick off, but then we also saw that Reaper was a season pass character for Blackout, so if you had that season pass, Pass. Not only did you gain access to the DLC maps, but you also got a new character within Blackout. And then finally, the most recent introduction or hint towards future specialists that really give us some definitive leaning here towards this came in the way of data mined game files a couple of weeks back, or I guess a month and a half back at this point. These lines of voiceover were already in game and are ready to go when the other assets are made public, but they're lines of zero in multiplayer addressing the likes of Spectre and Reaper. The lines go as follows. Reaper deleted, deactivated Reaper, Reaper fragged, killbot eliminated, Spectre killed, deleted Spectre, Spectre gone, and Spectre down. Now, as mentioned, that is lines of VO or voiceover from multiplayer. Not Blackout, not Zombies, not Specialist HQ missions, nothing like that. It's MP, and so therefore, it leads us to that inevitable thought that Spectre and Reaper will be coming. And let's clear the air a little bit in the room, because of course, Spectre we've talked about before, and it's likely that Spectre is the next specialist, especially given that recently PC bugs have changed descriptions of items in Bare Bones to showcase a smoke grenade being similar to Caustic's ability in Apex, where it mentions Spectre by name, that they can see enemies in the smoke, and also a melee weapon that glitched out that also looks to confirm that, mentioning Spectre as well. So it seems like one half of this is already confirmed, but as for the secondary portion of Reaper, that's the big question mark on how and why he could be coming. 
Granted, we've already seen him as far back as the comics, and we saw him in the game files already because Blackout, he's there as a character, so he's very easy to port over to MP. And with those VO lines, it seems like it's going to happen at some point. But because of how we mentioned it at the beginning of the video, it's not really fair to Black Ops pass holders in that similar sense, is it? Granted, they don't have access to him in the way of MP currently, nor does anyone, but if he were to be introduced, presumably that character would then be available for all in Blackout, as well as all the other specialists are currently. They're the only characters that are unlocked by default in the Battle Royale portion of the game, so in that sense, it seems like they're kind of in a hole of some sorts, where they can't really win this one, but it seems like it's planned to be coming. Truthfully, this is where we jump into speculation, because we don't have an answer and probably won't for another 80 days or so until Operation 5, when presumably he'll be introduced. But I do see a couple of outcomes that potentially could have some merit behind them, logically. It's not coming from any leak or any inside source or anything like that, but instead, just kind of thinking about it at a top-down perspective and how it could work without creating too much of a stir or fuss within the community. And talking about that, let's discuss outcome number one, potentially. The one that really makes absolutely no sense to me and I don't think that they're going to do, but maybe he's introduced and pass holders are given that early access exclusivity excuse here with this. I don't see that happening or being even likely at all, because with the given controversy of Black Ops 4 that it's had in just the short six months of its life, from a PR perspective, I don't see in a million years the willingness to jump headfirst into another one at that. Something that would knowingly piss off the player base in that regard, where it's like, hey, you had this, but now everybody's gonna have it and we're not gonna compensate you for that. I don't see that happening, especially since given the very beginning of the marketing for the Black Ops Pass, four characters was that thing that was guaranteed. And so that, I just don't see them kind of using that as an exclusivity tactic, similar to a map or event like you'd see with PlayStation 4 to Xbox One and PC exclusivity. But in that same right, if it does come, it wouldn't surprise me if they end up replacing Reaper as a Black Ops Pass exclusive character. This kind of could explain the current faster pace at which we end up seeing characters being released for Blackout and a part of the Black Ops Pass compared to how much time is left in the main year of Black Ops 4. Currently, we're at three of the four characters the pass offered, and we're only halfway through the life cycle of the game. So with presumably five and a half months or so to go, at minimum until Call of Duty 2019 rolls around, it wouldn't surprise me if later on down the line there are new characters either sold separately, or the Black Ops pass keeps getting additional characters each operation, so on and so forth, so that you actually get more compared to what is advertised to begin with. Seems kind of crazy to end up seeing things thrown in additionally to the Black Ops pass, but who knows, maybe that's something that does happen, and maybe even from a marketing perspective, not necessarily saying I would condone it, but if they end up advertising more Blackout characters later on down the line, that's kind of a halfway point or slightly after halfway point in the year where you could start to market the Black Ops Pass again, to which maybe you end up revitalizing some sales in terms of players looking for those new skins, and also the DLC packs that they don't have currently. So in that sense, who knows? But the final thing that I can maybe consider is that maybe Reaper is introduced and there is no alternative skin for Blackout, and he's just there for pass holders, in the sense that he's not usable and unlocked by default as that current specialist portray in Blackout for those that don't have the Black Ops Pass, where this update doesn't nullify anything that we end up seeing within the Blackout portion, that stays exactly the same, but the update for Reaper only brings him over into MP. And to me, I think this might be the most likely. It'll definitely be weird, that's for sure, because every single specialist that we've seen so far has been unlocked by default for the past couple of months in Blackout, so to end up having that still sort of exclusive might be a curveball that we might not be used to, but still something we may see. But regardless, there's definitely an interesting hurdle here for what may be the next specialist after this upcoming event. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this here because I know that whenever we talked about this previously, the potential idea of Spectre and Reaper coming as specialists, given that we do have game files that indicate this, a couple of people mentioned and pointed out that it would be a debacle of some sort, so I want to kind of give my piece here on it and maybe inform you guys a little bit more of what you may not have known about the state of Black Ops 4 and some stuff coming up. Before we wrap everything up, I want to let you guys also know that there was a small little update to Black Ops 4 today that brought in the new Titan bundle. And while the Titan itself isn't new, the mannerisms of this bundle are, because unlike the ICR bundle last week, it was a little bit better compared to that one. 
You still get the same items comparable to the ICR bundle from Operation First Strike in the way of the Titan Mark II or the Sandstorm, previously known as, and you also get the Mastercraft and the Reactive Camo, but for a little less. You end up getting five bundle crates compared to what you had in the ICR bundle, but it's only $10 for all of that now, and truthfully, I said this on Twitter earlier, which makes you guys toss a follow if you don't already. I'd like to chat with all you guys. But I mentioned that I really don't necessarily care much for or advocate for the consideration of these kinds of bundles because personally, I don't see as much value in these and the contents around most of them. I'm more so a camo guy mostly, so when it comes to cosmetics, a lot of that stuff I'll put of value compared to say tiers or crates of some regard. And even though you got some cool stuff in the way of the ICR bundle, is a little too steep for me to justify to anybody. But this one, if you're looking for it, it's a lower price tag and also the Soul Eater Reactive Camo that you end up getting it if you did not have any of this in First Strike. Soul Eater Camo is, in my mind, the best camo in Black Ops 4. That's just my personal opinion, and again, if you guys didn't hit Tier 100 in Operation First Strike, you either got the game afterwards, you just didn't complete up to that point. It's not the worst deal that we've seen by any means. But, that said, we're gonna wrap it up here, so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys think here of the potential fate of Reaper? Do you think that we'll see any of these outcomes that we discussed actually happen? Do you think there's gonna be anything in particular that changes the course of this, where maybe we don't even see Reaper added in as a specialist? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 4, MP, Blackout, Zombies. We got you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, there's the best place to get connected with outside of YouTube. Where I can live on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, or maybe that link is down there in the description below. But all that's that, now to thank you guys all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.